Hello, hello, welcome to another edition of Soccer for Like It, the Man United direction. And today we're going to talk about football, 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 and Man United and transfer news. Anyway, hope you're keeping safe and keeping uh, quarantined and staying home according to the government regulations in your particular locations. Right. The news just came out, the Daily Mail who just came out that Tottenham are offering Harry Kane to anybody specifically to Man United for £200 million. What does that mean? Which means they want him to be the most expensive player in the world. Ask yourself, is he worth £200 million in this current climate? I mean, give a dog a bone. Harry Kane, £200 million, a guy who's injury prone? What do you think he's worth? No, drop your comments, drop us a like, subscribe if you're new, tell us what you think about Harry Kane being rated and worth estimated 200 million pounds. Whoa, that's about 250 million dollars. Harry Kane? Hmm. If he's worth that, I mean, not, we're not exactly buying Ronaldo or Messi or an even Neymar, Harry Kane. How the hell did they come to these mark these um, amounts of astronomical figures? Two hundred million for him? Give a dog a bone. Two hundred million. Man United shouldn't even look at that. Direction. United shouldn't even comprehend the thought, even entertain the thought about that amount of money. With two hundred million, you could get three players. You could get Sancho, Grealish, and some change to buy and uh, just a, a backup a, a center center defender. For 200 million, say you buy Sancho for 80, Grilly for 50, that's 130. You still have another 70, but you buy one striker who's injury prone, who's going to be injured before the Christmas? Get the fuck out of there. Bloody hell. I mean, they, this is what I told you guys. I told you Daniel Levy is one of the most difficult people to do business with when it comes to Spurs and his players, especially when it comes to Man United. So I think Man United need to get the act together like, like mm, 200 million is like, nah. He is not worth more than a hundred million. And I'm being polite now. Let's put the British part. Let's say he's the capital of England, but 200 million? Give a dog a bone. Get the hell out of there, matey. That's just bonkers. Absolutely stupid. I told you guys, when we tried to get Berbatov, it was a back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Then the very last day, we United were able to get Berbatov. And that, my son, my friends, that was just the stroke of luck because Alex Ferguson was such a nice guy and Berbatov said, you know, I am going to United and the rest is history. But on a more positive note, a video surfaced recently. I think that video was done earlier in reference to Pogba talking to MUTV and him saying he, his mum always told him he was going to end up coming back to United. I think that was done before COVID-19 in reference to him coming back to United. Nothing in emphasised saying he's going to stay at United, but from all indications, it looks like Paul Pogba is going to be in United next season when this season resumes, when it does resume, but he's going to stay at United. I hope so, because I really want to see him and Bruno together and Sancho on the right, Rafa on the left and Marcel in the middle. That's my dream. I'm not allowed to dream because dreams are free, right? Exactly. Now, those are the players. United really need a, a right winger, one more midfielder, probably a defensive midfielder, and probably one backup striker. But it's definitely not going to be Harry Kane for 200 million. Hell no. Never. No, no, no. No. So that is that for Harry Kane. They put that 200, to the 200 million. He could spin it to one side, shine it a bit, and shove it where the sun don't shine. Bloody hell, matey. Well, uh... In reference to United, we don't know when the season is going to start. The season is still where it is. We are still in fifth position. There's still nine games to go. We don't know when the league is going to resume. We don't know when this lockdown is going to be over. So everything is still up in the air. People are saying the football league might return back end of May. Which means that's another nearly a month away and still going to be behind closed doors. What can I say about that? If you're watching our video, don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you're a new viewer, and please share our content, and please tell me, is Harry Kane worth 200 million pounds? Flipping hell, no. Right, this is our point where we read uh, emails we receive. Right, this is from uh, Moses from Abbey John Ivory Coast. Tim, is Pogba ever going to sign? say yes to United? I don't know what to answer that one, Moses, mate. Um... 
He's never said he wants to leave, but apart from when he said he wants a number challenge, everything goes through Manny Rola or his brother. That's all I can say about that. That's all I can say. Thank you for your email. Next one is, who is this? Janet Johnson from Scotland, Edinburgh. Janet, thank you for sending an email to us. Janet is saying, if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer gets all his signings, how long would it take for United to start challenging for the league title? Fantastic question, Janet. Okay. So far, this team currently cannot challenge for the title. He probably needs about two or three more players. I'll say a Bruno, one more striker, could be Igalo, could be... Who's that? Timo Werner. No, it, it could be Sancho, Igalo, and Timo Werner. Or... And another midfielder like Grealish. If we get, say, Sancho, Igalo, one more striker, and Grealish, and one, probably one more defender, I think that team should be ready to challenge for the title. I think one more set of signings. I think one more transfer window to get United. It, it, due to the fact that COVID-19 is coming out, I think United should have been able to get all their targets. But I think United are getting closer to start the challenge for the league title. I really, really believe they're getting closer to winning, the, to, to challenge, not win. Don't quote, oh, Tim said they're going to win the title. No, I didn't say that. I was saying United are getting close to start to challenge for the league title with one more transfer window and getting the right player. But at the same time, we need to get rid of the deadwood. Sanchez needs to go. Uh, Pereira needs to go. Lingard needs to go. Jones needs to go to free up space of the deadwood FC. Well, I'm out of here. Thank you very much for watching our show. We will see you in a couple of days. Stay safe, stay positive, stay blessed. And we shall see you soon from me, Tim Russell, your host. Soccer as we like it, the Man United Direction. It's goodbye and good night.